welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm with Amanda Pilkington, and you guys, these are pancakes. <laughs> these little things are pancakes. This is a pancake griddle, not the kind you're used to seeing. Tell me about these. They're special. Yes, uh, these are Abel Skewers. Um, they're Danish stuffed pancakes. They're traditionally served over the holidays, um, and they're awesome. You can do them sweet, savory. Well, I, I, I can uh, smell Nutella. <laughs> it smells <laughs> amazing. Is this Nutella? Yeah. Yes. Or something like that? Yes. Hazelnut, yeah. Hazelnut spread. Ooh. Okay, so this is a holiday thing? I mean, I like to eat them year-round, but traditionally they're served around the holidays. And <laughs> Tell me about the batter. Is it any different than your normal so pancake batter? It's, the only thing that's a little bit different is uh, you whip up egg whites to lighten the batter. And, and make it's fluffier? It, you make okay. it fluffy. You do some folding with yes, that? Yes, you fold that in. Okay. Um, but there's... I mean, traditional flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and then you mix it with butter, egg, and milk. No yolks. Uh, just the yolks. Yep. Just and then the, the, and then okay. the whites you'll beat separately um, into stiff peaks. So that's the only extra step? Pretty much. Okay. Yes. All right, let's get on yep. with it, shall we? Okay. So you'll want to take a little tiny bit of butter. Um, I like to use this brush. Um, a little basting brush? Yeah, brush and just bit brush it into the well. Do you have to have something like this to cook these in, or is there another way you could do this without... Uh, is there a, a, a jerry rig way? Yeah, is there, is there a way I could no, do this? No, you need a round, you, you need these round little... To make them correctly, divots. okay. And they sell it in a pan version as well. Oh, this cool. one's oh, electric. Oh, perfect, sweet. Where did you get yours? Uh, William and Sonoma, but okay. you can find them... Pretty much anywhere. Like I said, they come in a pan, so you can pretty much find it any, anywhere then, yeah. Yeah, okay. and then, okay, so see how the butter is bubbling? Yes. That's good. Kay. We want it hot. Yep, and then you'll just fill it about kind of halfway. Okay. Wow, and you're then, only filling it halfway and they blow up to that. Well, you'll see why. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. what would you like to put in these? Um, I, well, you know what, I'm usually a savory person, but I could just smell Nutella, and I want Nutella now. So okay. now you're going sweet. I'm going sweet. I'll do the savory, you love, do the sweet. Okay, yeah, I would love, like, Nutella and... I'll just put a berry with it at the end. Okay. Or uh, raspberry or boysenberry, or we have yeah, pomegranate. You just surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with any berry, any fruit. So you're putting the fruit inside. Yes. So how, are it. these traditionally served with fruit, or is it kind of just anything? There's it's savory or sweet, or is it traditionally more of the sweeter stuff? Because I know you can kind of do anything with these, really. It's the nice part about it. Yeah. What other? So the savory ones seen? I've done: Havarti, wow. maple, ham. Uh, caramelized Ooh. onion and red pepper jelly. Wow, that sounds so good. <laughs> red pepper jelly. Is this what this is? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to try these. All the smells. Guys, the worst part about TV is that you can't smell I know, right? the kitchen set. Yes. Too bad there's no such thing as the smell of vision. It's but. a problem no, all the time. I wish, I wish. Okay. All right, so you just kind of stuff everything in there. Yes, and this part you kind of have to work a little quick and have your ingredients on right. hand and because ready. Because cooking? Uh, no, because you have to do this part. Okay, which part? You have to top it with more batter. Top a little bit more batter, so it is stuffed then. Okay, yes. perfect. Lemon. And how long do these take to cook, typically? Well, it's not so much how long, but I started these guys on the far left probably about five minutes ago. Okay. How do you know when they're ready? When there's bubbles. On the top. So it's kind of like a traditional pancake. Small You're waiting bubbles. for the yep. bubbles to come Lots through. Lots of little bubbles. Okay, and we're kind of getting there. Perfect. Um, kind of flip. Yep. See. So you just flip it over. Yep. And then there's no like any of these guys. <laughs> the special <laughs> flippers. These are yes. little able skewer uh, spatulas, which make it really easy to get into the well. Um, don't be scared. I mean, oftentimes you think that oh these are going to turn out ugly, but. Look at just them. cover them up. They're no, beautiful. They, they turn yeah, out they great. Turn out powder. Great. Yeah. So the batter will, the raw batter will sink, and it'll keep forming into a ball. All right. Question. Yes. When you're looking at the cooked side of it, how do you know when it's ready underneath? Oh. You just <laughs> guess. Guesswork. Uh, no, you can keep turning it, but really, I'll give it another couple minutes. Okay. And then I'll turn it and see if it's brown and golden and. It is. It's done. You yes. just keep going. Yeah. So tell me, where did you even learn about Abel? Abel Skivers? Abel Skivers. Skivers. Abel, Abel, Abel Skivers. Skivers. Yeah. Okay. Where it's did a you weird hear? word, isn't it? <laughs> yes. We were afraid to I say it I was nervous to say it. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was saying it completely wrong. Is this like a family tradition for you? Or uh, is this... 
My dad gave me this set, I don't know, six really? years ago. Oh, really? I was That's like, super cool. What do I do with this? Yeah, this is not a common <laughs> thing to get. For, for and then I was like, looking through the book, I was like, oh my god, these smell, these sound amazing. Like, I need to make these. And <laughs> they do. They look And now super, I make them for my clients good. all the time. Oh my gosh. Well, I would love to take a bite. I mean, they're great because you can make them however way you want. Yeah. Kids can get involved. And they're mini, so you can have more and not feel as bad about it. Maybe. It's yeah. a perfect Maybe not. like holiday appetizer tray for sure. It's yes. like great something you can set out. You get the variation of the sweet and the savory, so you cover all the bases there. That's you know, really while nice. these are cooking, tell us more about you. What do sure. you do? I am a personal chef. I bring a gourmet dining experience to my client's house. Clearly gourmet. <laughs> um, so I do a lot of private dinners, uh, cocktail parties. Um, available for hire for a full day or partial day. And even travel. Yes. I was going to say, yeah, you I'll do travel. some unique travel as well. <laughs> I'll, tra I'll go and travel too um, and do special events, dinners as well. How do people book you? Uh, my website is www.chefamandapilkington.com okay. um, or give me a call. It's 801-556-2603. Tell us, are you, I mean, booked out for the holidays? Uh, I've got one day left. <laughs> one, one day, day left? left. Day, <laughs> the 27th. Day. Give us the inside yes. scoop yeah. for that one person you want to <laughs> on the 27th. Okay, I feel like I want to take a bite okay. of one of these over here. Please. I, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get, get to my special pomegranate blackberry. Okay, but there are sweet ones on this side and then savory, savory on that. Savory on this side. I'll try one savory. of each. Which one do I want to, okay. I'm going to try savory. And, and then, then we'll, we'll switch? Yep, then we'll switch. Okay, what's inside of these ones? Pomegranate, Nutella, and chocolate chip. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. And this is the Havarti oh and the my ham. Gosh. Caramelized onions and, and red pepper red, jelly. Really yeah. good. The red pepper jelly is perfect <laughs> in there. Seriously, it's fantastic. I'm dying. <laughs> I <laughs> can't even talk. Kelly's in heaven. <laughs> Seriously, and the little like pop of the pomegranate right in the center. I love this. It's like a great surprise. This is really delicious. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it's right. really easy to eat about 10 each. <laughs> I would in a heartbeat. I'm going savory. <laughs> Diego, I'm don't, gonna go sweet. don't let me eat two by myself. All right, I'm Please. going sweet. Oh, it smells so good. So tell me again what's in these. Okay, so maple honey oh ham, caramelized onion, Havarti, and red pepper jelly. I can't even talk. These are amazing. I would like, this is scary. I would eat the whole thing. Sometimes I like one. to do fig, prosciutto, goat cheese. That's a really that's good a one. That's a really good combination. Um, something that's important to point out too is that the batter's not uber sweet. No. It's not, so it's not like you're really eating Kind of like a sweet dough around this. It's different. Yeah, and you can stuff it with a bunch of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. And Amanda, do you have this recipe up on your website, or where can people find out how to make make these? Uh, I will load it to my website for sure. Yeah, perfect. I'd be happy to share that. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Well, oh, I it's love been, this. It's been great trying these. It's super delicious. Is there anything else that you'd like to? To mention, book her on Happy the 27th. holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, she only has one spot left, so book her on the 27th. She's definitely booked out for the holidays. It was really great trying this. Thank you so much for the Able Skeevers. Yes, thank you for super having me. Delicious. Good job, Able Skeevers. Yeah, yes. I, I was brave yep. this time. You there got we go. it. And we are looking forward to your next uh, visit here, so we'll see you next thank time. You. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be right back to close up the show right after this. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We're still eating over here. I'm not going to say how much I've eaten so far. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised you. this plate is still here. I was about to just <laughs> hoard this whole thing to myself because they're so delicious. Give us some more ideas on what you would do for sweet and what would you do for savory. More ideas. Yes. I like Let's the see. prosciutto one with the goat cheese. Yes, that, that that's really good. good. Who said that? Um, that? You missed it. I missed that? Yeah, she oh said prosciutto. What was it? Prosciutto, goat cheese, and... Uh, prosciutto, goat cheese, and... <laughs> I don't know. Something maybe something else. green, yeah. like an herb. I think it was. A herb. Herb. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe. Um, Who knows? Another thing that's kind of cool to do is you get your butter bubbling, and then you drop a piece of sage, and then the sage will fry, and it'll also be on the outside of the able skewer, and it'll look really pretty. Wow, you're creative. Um, but yes, that, that might have so been the one with the goat it. cheese. Yeah. And well, perfect. Thank you so yes. much. And thanks for watching today's Mountain Morning Show. We'll see you tomorrow starting at 7.